if your fiance is having her bachelorette party in Nashville uh, on the week of August 31st and has braces, hair about this length with blonde highlights, um, a cowboy hat with a veil on it, she is cheating on you and was just getting... <laughs> Uh, can I even say that word on TikTok? Getting uh, blasted. Yeah, getting blasted um, by some guy in the strip club. And she also doesn't tip, so you got yourself a winner. Oh, she. Oh yeah, and she was trying to record girls on stage. She's like 28 or 29. Her dress was like white with like pinkish flowers, and her friend, the only girl with her, was wearing blue. And was a brunette. You know what? I can actually brunette. go ask the guys what her name was. <laughs> <laughs> Please do it. Oh my god. And her friend tried to And she was rubbing his through his pants, so. She was. And uh, then they left together. So, good luck with your divorce. I hope you have a good prenup. Florida nurse accused of poisoning neighbor's cats and pregnant dog. You heard right, audience. This woman decided to poison her neighbor's pets. Not because she has some sort of grudge against animals. No, 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 no. It's a little bit more simpler than that. She just didn't want the pets to walk on her yard. You see, she and her neighbor had a lot of history, a whole lot of beef. Apparently, this has been an issue for a long time, and instead of doing literally anything else to remedy this situation, she decided to use pesticide in order to poison the cat and pregnant dog. And unfortunately, all of the pets involved, all of the animals involved in this terrible situation are dead. That was her grand solution to this very, very mediocre problem. A woman will have diarrhea for the rest of her life after suffering an injury caused by a Zempic. A lawsuit claims. For those who are unaware, this medication is meant for those who are suffering with type 2 diabetes. And it's not some sort of minor medicine either. It's taken to prevent cardiovascular events like strokes. It's not really a medication that you can just, you know, substitute or pass on. If you're predisposed to strokes, especially because you have type 2 diabetes, it may be a necessity. But hey, there's a cost to everything, right? You want to not have a stroke? Well, you're going to be <laughs> for the rest of your life. Just all the time. Hey, yo, what? A, a toddler doesn't know what is and their brains aren't developed enough to experience <laughs> desire. Stop making stuff up. I disagree. No one needs to do or be anything besides be happy and safe. If someone likes it and it's not... <laughs> what? It's not hurting them. Really? Are you the one drawing that conclusion? It seems a little one-sided, right? It seems like it's in your favor to determine whether or not the person that you're actively abusing is enjoying the abuse or not. It's so interesting that these sick people always bring this up every time. They're like, well, if they enjoy it in the moment, it's good. I have never, ever encountered a story, an article, an individual who's experienced these things and have been okay. Never. That's never happened. That's all it's needed. You just need to make sure that that person likes it. How do you know that? How do you know? We're talking about toddlers. What the? F what is wrong with you? Oh my God, I bought a perfectly fitting leather jacket from a thrift shop for $15, only to find out that it was a KMT jacket. So I had my friend paint over it. Oh my God, you are a different flavor of retard. Are you serious? Thank God the jacket is fake. It doesn't look real, but oh my God. This jacket, thank God, is a replica of a Flying Tigers, I want to say A1 jacket, because it doesn't look like an A2. These jackets were given to the first American volunteer group who worked with the China Air Force during World War II. At the time, China was still the Republic of China. This was before the Communist Party took over, and this glue eater believes that the flag of the Republic of China represents fascism. This is because the Kuomintang, or KMT, was the political political party and overall political movement that was fighting against the communist revolution in China. And that's all I'll say. I know that you guys didn't come here for a history lesson, but the context is necessary. This person went out of their way to argue for, I want to say, 48 hours straight, arguing that their choice to destroy a potentially genuine World War II artifact was completely justified. Multiple tweets were made about this, and many people were concerned that this jacket may be genuine. I swear, bro, people just weaponize their ignorance in ways that I can't even imagine. You chose to put an ugly deer on a potentially genuine KMT jacket? Do you not see how messed up that is? Warning, read carefully. Do not think this is a fake letter. We are Indian gang members. We want our share from your business like protection money. As you've seen on the news, November this month, two shooting on houses that were targeted because we asked them little money they denied. 
specifically the auto sales place and the movie theater and they both got in trouble we want very peacefully from you this amount if you want to do business here in abbotsford you have no other way and please make sure do not contact to police if you did then no more letter only bullet keep in mind we're only asking for two million dollars in cash what all right time for a little bit of context yes this is a genuine letter and whether or not it's actually from indian gang members in this area is unknown what is known is that multiple businesses received the same letter with similar demands like seriously would you actually be intimidated by this or would you think this is some sort of awful joke you ever just go out of your way to light fireworks at 3 a.m to annoy everybody on the street all for some pathetic tiktok clout it's, like no that. stop it's do it do it it's 3 a.m you already know go Oh shoot. oh shoot! Run! Oh, run! No, run! 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 Border police officer Shai Gamai was killed early this morning while fighting terrorists in Janine. I want to say roast and piss, but she was black already. Imagine being racist to somebody only when they're dead. Only when you're sure they can't talk back, they can't fight you, they can't find you. That is incredibly lily-livered and pathetic. And to think that your statement would actually encourage anybody to consider your perspective and your politics and your side of any of this is incredibly ridiculous. I want to make it so clear that this does not make you look good, bro. It, this is not how you debate anything ever. It just makes you look like the world's biggest bitch. Greenland startup begins shipping glacier ice to cocktail bars in the UAE. The company Arctic Ice argues its rare, pure product can be part of Greenland's green transition and greater independence. Bro, they're selling pieces of melting glaciers to cocktail bars. Is that, is that not kind of messed up? Funny enough, I can see where people are coming from. While, yes, the glaciers are already melting, you might as well be able to sell the ice. You know, might as well make some money off of it. It's still worthwhile to read the room. It shouldn't be an enterprising or good thing to accelerate the loss of Arctic ice. Especially if the only motivation is to make sure that people's drinks are cold in the middle of the desert. You know, just food for thought. You ever get so desperate for views and attention online that you collect dog feces and then go out of your way to dump it on people on the train? Before I leave movie theaters, I always dump out my leftover popcorn. Does anyone else do this, or am I weird? You know, people like you deserve a swift hit in the kneecaps with a golf club, and the person swinging that should be Tiger Woods, straight up. Because the only reason why you're compelled to do that is because you know for certain somebody is going to clean up after you. And that behavior is incredibly gross and deplorable. So yes, I think you deserve one concave kneecap. Is it your bike? Is that your bike? Okay, so it looks like somebody's mom is giving away a bunch of dolls. I wonder if their kid moved out or something, you know? They're just getting rid of toys, right? My 10-year-old granddaughter, okay, you're the grandmother, all right, all right, decided she wanted to be treated like a grown-up, okay? Therefore, I'm giving away her Barbie's girl's dress-up outfit that she outgrew, remote control car, and education books for kindergartners. I bought her a broom, cleaning supplies, and making invoices for food, utilities, rent, and groceries. Let's see how grown up she feels in a week. <laughs> Look, raise your kids how you want to raise them, but I, I have a few thoughts. Uh, <laughs> do you think a 10-year-old has the capacity to understand what you're trying to teach them? Because if I had a guess, that 10-year-old girl is going to be preoccupied with the feeling of loss. You're literally giving away her toys. This isn't discipline, you're bullying her. I would understand if you would put those toys in the closet or you're telling her that she's grounded and you're trying to teach her how it feels to be grown, you know, oh, you don't know about responsibility yet, yada, 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 yada. There's other ways to do this without making your kid resent you. 
because she's old enough to know that she's not going to get those Barbies back, that somebody is going to pick up that free lot from you, right? That free Barbie lot and all the other toys that you're giving away, and she's never going to see them again. That sense of loss, that sense of betrayal, doesn't leave a lot of room in her head for introspection. It doesn't leave a lot of room for self-reflection. She's not learning anything from this, bro. You ever go out of your way to park illegally in front of a fire hydrant and then just pathetically hide it with a cardboard box? I don't think you should cover up the fire hydrant in case of a fire. I know. I know it's for fire. What? I know it's for fire. So why are you covering it up? So I don't get the key. Okay, that's pretty illegal. Pennsylvania toddler allegedly killed by dad's girlfriend who fed her acetone, batteries, and screws. Now what would compel someone to do this to a baby? Jealousy. It's that simple. The woman responsible for this crime is named Alicia Owens, and she killed this child because her boyfriend at the time, the child's father, was sharing custody of this baby with his ex. Therefore, poor old Alicia Owens wasn't getting enough attention. So what did she do? She takes the life of that little girl in order to, I don't know, get his attention, have him care more about her. Look, there's no logic here, and trying to find it is nearly Sisyphusian. As of right now, she hasn't been charged with anything, she's just in jail, so the best thing that we can hope for is if she just spontaneously catches on fire. I'm talking gasoline nap the fire. I'm, I'm For real, she needs to be burning. It'd be fantastic, that would be, in my opinion, the best way to remedy this situation. Of all of the insufferable, terminally online Twitter politics, this has to be the worst. This post went viral on Twitter because most reasonable people can point out that stealing a ride on a train or a bus is a net detriment for your town or city. Because in reality, you didn't just skip a fare, you didn't just get a free ride, somebody else who's actually paying for the train is actively subsidizing your activism LARP. It makes no sense. The more you steal rides on the bus and train, the more expensive it is for everyone. And in the grand scheme of things, it's incredibly lame. Like this is prestige lame behavior. Trying to tell me that you don't have $5? Nearly 100 churches across Canada have been torched or damaged after activists lied that 200 indigenous children were buried under Catholic schools. Yeah, it wasn't even just a lie. It was an outright hoax. Not a single body was found. And that ought to make you think why would anybody lie about that? What would compel somebody to make such a serious claim? And now a bunch of historical churches in Canada have been permanently vandalized because of some idiot's lives and even more idiots believing said lies and attacking churches that had nothing to do with this supposed claim. You're just out here torching places of worship because of Twitter posts and TikTok videos? Are you serious? Where do you buy a shirt like this? I am 100% convinced that you made that. Who would sell something like that? Nobody would buy a shirt like that. Nobody reasonable. But this dude with a receding hairline and a weird outfit, like nothing makes sense, is out here buying a t-shirt that says, eat, sleep, <clears throat> repeat. Like seriously, how do you walk around with that and not just be accosted by random people? The future is easy to predict for this guy. I know for a fact that somebody is going to throw a brick at him. Is that right? I am speechless. That, that is crazy to me how this dude would rather be associated with than Republican politics. Like, this dude is enthusiastic. I searched up his Twitter account. It's gone. But it's in response to another tweet from a contributor to Zooier Than Thou, a podcast dedicated to zoophilia. I'm embarrassed to be American, and I'm a f dog f about which I'm 0% embarrassed. You should be. That's why it's so perverse. For whatever reason, the machine in your brain is so broken, so stepped on, that you feel no guilt, you feel no shame for what you're doing to a creature that can't speak, a living being that is trapped in your home, a living being that is dependent upon you wholeheartedly, and you think it's okay, you think it's 100% okay to do this, and 
You think it's better to be the way you are, to behave the way you do, than to be what? Conservative? Are you shitting me? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ailerus, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. This week is chock full of channel favorites. I hope you're ready to be entertained. I will be uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this week, so keep an eye out for that notification. Make sure to hit that bell if you really want to make sure to get the video on time. And as always, I gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to traffic racer 124 ysg inferno fisherman Tariq, the blurred star mr sandman mike sleepy dragon power lover loving tate tron destroy 23 code connor purvis s16 my golden experience james tucker bmx 30 cinnamon sticks scott the fake musician samantha bellhart admin fanneker bloody hunter Keely, Dundernass, Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description. One of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.